Good morning, class. Our today's topic is checking spelling in grammar. We have a inbuilt dictionary in our word processing program, and that word that inbuilt dictionary help us to remove the errors if we get in our document. What kind of errors we can get? We can get two types of basic errors that is spelling and the grammar error. Spelling error and the grammatical error. If you type some text, you get some wavy line under your text. And these wavy lines of red and the green color, as you see in your doc the screen. Under this N, I can see this green wavy line and some words having red wavy line. These are known as the errors. Spelling error and grammatical errors. So, spelling error. Here, spelling error comes if you have typed the wrong spelling. You can say misspelled word. Electronic. The spelling of electronic is wrong. So, here it has got the red wavy line. The spelling of process is wrong. So, it has got the red wavy line. The spelling of output is wrong here. So, it has got the red wavy line. And and computer, because it's a grammatical error, and computer is not appropriate here. It will come here a computer. So, and for, uh, under the and we get this grammatical error. So, these type of errors can be removed easily because we have an autocorrect dictionary here in our word processing software. So, how to we can uh, remove these errors? We have three methods. First of all, we can go to the tab, review tab. The tab is review. In the review tab, you get this proofing group. The first group name is the proofing group. In the proofing group, we have options spelling and grammar. You can see the shortcut command also as I click on this F7. So with the help of F7 function key from your keyboard, you can get the same dialog box as you can get by clicking on the review tab and going to the proofing group and the spelling and grammar. So the same can be done with the help of the shortcut key command that is F7 function key. So as I click on this spelling and grammar, so I get this dialog box. This is my spelling and grammar dialog box. So in this, you can see I'll get the spellings which are wrong. See, you can see the corrections also. First of all, see, in my paragraph, the paragraph will be displayed here. The word which are wrong will come uh, as a green and the red, like electronic spelling is wrong. So, I get suggestions here, electronic. So, whatever the suitable uh, uh, suggestion you get, like the first suggestion, I found it right. So, I can click on the option change. I can click on the option change. So, the spelling is corrected. Now, and it is a grammatical error. So, it will be displayed green color. So, A, A is the correct answer here. So, suggestion A displaying only. Then, click on this. Then, process. The correct spelling is a suggestion in process. Then, change. Then, output, change. So, once and then it's showing some grammatical error, it means the full stop is far away from here. So, change. So, this way after after completing the spelling and grammar work, you'll get this option. The spelling and grammar check is complete. Then click on OK. So, this is about the spelling and grammar. Now, sometimes when you write your name of your, write the name, like I have written my name here. So, you'll see why my, my name spelling is correct. I know it. But it is still having the red wavy line under it because the names 
spellings are not in your word dictionary so how you can make correct the so that next time you don't get this red wiggly line here what we are going to do click on the review tab proofing group and then the spelling grammar option the spelling is correct i don't want to take any of the suggestions here then i will do add to dictionary here this word will be added to the dictionary so that the next time when i will write my name i will not get the red wavy line under it so click on the add to dictionary yes okay so let's write again my name so am i getting the red wavy line no because i have added that particular word into my dictionary and sometimes in this dialog box you will see i show you uh ignore once option is also there okay let me type one more paragraph and uh, let do some changes in that so it is saying the spelling grammar is work is complete because we have completed all the changes so it means you can change the it means you can change the grammatical errors or the spelling errors from your document easily if any word is not added into uh, is not available in your dictionary and that is correct like the name of your spelling is correct so what you need to do you need to add to use the option add to dictionary so that the next time if you use the same word you will not get the red wavy line under it so this is all about the by using the option review tab and the proofing group and spelling and grammar you must know about it you can also do it with the help of the shortcut key with the help of the shortcut key command that is f7 or if this for this spelling is wrong then you have to click right click over it and you'll get the here also some of the suggestions by clicking on the uh, uh, right right mouse button you'll get some suggestions so these are the three ways with the help of that you can easily do it so let me show you again the third process see in this you can easily see the two spellings are wrong so i'm not going to the review tab proofing group i will just uh, use the third method here right click by right clicking on this particular word you get suggestions here see add to dictionary ignore on uh, the correct suggestions ignore if the spelling is correct sometimes the computer gives you the um, red wavy line and the spelling is correct then you have to use the option ignore so use the correct word here and right click here use the correct word and this way you can do the checking of the spelling and grammar you can use the review tab proofing group and spelling and grammar option the same dialog box can be brought with the help of f7 shortcut key or you can you also use this as i have done by clicking by or you can say right clicking on the particular word and you get suggestions if you want to add to dictionary if you want to ignore or you want to change you can easily do with the help of that also so these are the three methods you can do for your spelling and grammar 